Hi. So, I've been working on a new project. Uh, here is, uh, this is the uh, James Smith Rudolph clock book clock. And here is the frame. You can see that this is just the frame. There, there are no gears right now. There are literally no gears in this. But this is the frame as is. Uh, these parts right here are for the hands of the clock, are for the gears that are gonna move the hands of the clock. And yeah, so basically this is just the frame. Uh, it is pretty strong, actually. It, it, it also has a hanger, which I did build, but uh, in the back, there's also a little... Uh, this is the... In the back, there's some supports for the pendulum, as well. I put in the spring here. The, the, uh, this is the spring that's going to go, you know, back and forth for the pendulum. But, yeah, this is what I have so far. Plus... It's really cool. I mean, this clock is cool. It is a wall clock. This is a wall clock. It's not a... Uh, it, it's a cool clock. You can get it as a book. It, it comes as a book. You can get it like Barnes & Noble. Uh, yeah, Barnes & Noble. Uh, Amazon. Thrifts. Uh, I think through Yeah, Thrift Books. Or thrift shops. This thing, uh, James Smith Rudolph, the original print of this is 2001. 2001 for this. Yeah, 2001 for this clock. Book. I mean, it's a really neat project. Um, I will have all the gears in soon when I have enough. Yeah, I'm going to have all the gears in soon and hoping to get all of this completed. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? This is... These are the pillars here. These... These, uh, these side ports are the pillars. This is to support the reduction gear. And then this is to all support the hand mechanism. Uh, the escapement wheel and anchor go up here. The middle wheel is here. Uh, motor wheel is there. So, it's pretty cool. I mean, clearly, this is a really cool clock. I mean, plus it's beginner friendly, which it, it's easy for, like, young kids to build and people to really, really like. I mean, it, even if you're like me, which I'm 19 years old, a, 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 which you're like me, which is 19, I can, I'm, I'm still building this. This is my third attempt at this clock. And I believe that I can get this one running. It comes with a really nice pendulum. I did put my own engraving on it. Um, I'll show you that when it's done. Because, it, and it's uh, in color, so that means it's going to look really cool. It's like a white and gold pendulum, which is real nice. Uh, but yeah, this is the frame as it stands now. Uh, all the holes for the axles are poked in here. Are poked on, on the sides that are facing inwards towards each other. Because then that way it makes it easier for me. And then that way the, the axles don't impede with the pendulum or the hand movements. Or, or the movement of the hands, which is nice. And yeah. This thing is a nice wall clock, very strong. I might add some lacquer, a, a one coat of lacquer when I'm done. Uh, the last gear I need to make is the mit is the motor gear. Well, that is like ninety per ninety, I'd say about ninety five percent complete. There's still a few pieces left I need to add, and then we're done. And it also comes with a really nice case too. But you get this as a clock, as a book, and you cut it up into, it says, 160 pieces. But this has taken me, like, two weeks. The frame here that I have in my hand, that took me, like, two days to build. The gear, uh, most of the, the motor wheel takes you about a week. And then the rest of the gears take you, like, less than seven hours to build. Like, seven hours, like... 
like seven hours to build. Yeah, like the rest of the gears will take you like way less than 24 hours to build. So you can have a, and then uh, the weight of this cloth, well, the weight of the actual weight canister, which I have built, I haven't filled it yet, which it, it calls for 12 ounces is the max for that. So yeah, this is going to be a fun, fun clock. This is a fun clock. I mean, and it's a square rectangular, a, I, I would say rectangular clock. I thought it looked squarish to me, but no, it's a rectangular clock, which is nice. And it comes with a really nice rectangular face with Arabic numerals. The only two numbers that I get confused on are six and nine. Like the number six and nine, because when you flip it upside down, the six becomes a nine, the nine becomes a six. It mind boggles you on a Roman numeral clock. If you flip it upside down, four numbers confuse you, which is four, six, nine, and 11. Which really is more confusing than six and nine on an Arabic numeral dial. Yeah. So that is pretty much it for this. I will show more when it's done. Yeah, so it's really cool of an actual, and this thing is an actual ticking clock, which is also cool. Considering that uh, there is another paper clock out there, which I might build in the future. Not this year, maybe in the following years. It is the uh, Peace Tower clock. And that is a complete mumbo jumbo mess. You have, yeah, it's not like this one. This one, this one is 160 pieces for the whole clock. The frame of the rabbit one, of the Peace Tower all paper clock, is like way more than this. It's like 80 pieces for the frame of the rabbit Peace Tower clock. This is 23, including the uh, hanger. 23 for the whole thing. And it's ingenious of how they did it. Like, and it's strong. It's not going to, like, fall off the wall uh, type of clock. Unless you accidentally hit it, which is hilarious. Which would end up to be an hilarious joke, considering that. You know, hilarious joke. <laughs> like, ow, I hit my head on the clock. Ugh. You, you, you know, you know, you like hit the your head and it falls. So yeah, it's really all I have much to say.